shirt looks trippy in the green screen. I look like I'm sparkling out, bro. But anyway, today we're going to be reacting to a Cause Cause Art video. Their newest video they've just released. Why don't we shoot nuclear waste into space? And away we go. Jesus. Limited edition 12,023 Cause Cause Art calendar is here. Every purchase Bonger. enables us to make videos free for everyone. Let's so go. get one for yourself or a loved one and be a sponsor of the following video. Hell Eternal yeah. gratitude from us and all the burbs around the world. It's crazy they got a calendar out for next year already. Next year just seems so close and it's stupid. This year went Here so quick. In the Labs, we test very important ideas to see what happens when you blow things up or play with black holes. True. Many of you suggested that we look into an idea that sounds reasonable. Shooting nuclear waste into space. It's one of those concepts um, that seems like an easy fix for one of the main problems with the nuclear it affect energy. But it turns out space this idea is not just bad, but horribly oh, yeah. bad. And yeah. it gets worse the longer you think about it. Oh god. Why is that? Oh no. Wouldn't it just come back? Like if we shoot it out there, wouldn't it just what come is back? Nuclear waste? Nuclear waste is a fuzzy term and comes in categories which vary from country to country. But in general, there are three broad levels. 90% is low-level nuclear waste, tools, gloves, or trash used at a nuclear facility that could be weakly contaminated with some short-lived radioactivity. Okay, this no doubt, stuff no is doubt. generally safe for normal disposal. Oh, okay. 7% is intermediate-level nuclear waste, mostly materials that have been in close proximity to a reactor core long enough to become dangerously radioactive. With proper handling, oh, okay. it's either safely buried or melted down, and mixed into glass or concrete and stored deep underground. So 97% of nuclear waste is similar to toxic byproducts from other industries. Not great, not terrible. We can handle it. Okay, what the about that? 3% 3%. is where our problems begin. High level Ooh. nuclear waste is very concentrated spent fuel taken out of a reactor core. Formerly uranium, it's now made of various dangerous and often highly radioactive elements. As okay. a bonus, it's also incredibly hot and not easy to handle at all. This is what we okay. want to shoot into space. Yeah. All in all, around 440 active nuclear reactors create about 11,000 tons of high-level nuclear waste each year. Yeah, I don't think we have the facilities for that. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it just cost more for the ships? Yeah. Or the, Since 1954, the rockets, we've accumulated 400,000 tons of dangerous Holy radioactive waste. Jesus. Most countries are dealing with it by not dealing with it and wow. kicking the can towards the future. Jesus. Great. So let's launch it into space. According to scientists, space is big and yeah. nobody lives there. So eh, it seems we don't know that. for yeeting away this mess. Yeeting? He just said, ye my man just said yeeting. Though. Oh no. Problem one stuff ain't cheap. True, sure, that, that's exactly what Even I said. Even though space flight <laughs> is getting more affordable, it's mm. still extremely expensive. Yeah. Just to get something into low Earth orbit costs on average about $4,000 per kilogram. Jesus. Putting that into perspective, it costs about $1,600 to mine, separate, and fabricate one kilogram of nuclear fuel, so launching waste into space has suddenly yeah. made nuclear fuel for reactors way more expensive and greatly yeah. increased the cost of the electricity they produce. Uh, to launch one reactor's worth of nuclear waste would cost at least $100 million per year. To deal with all the 440 Ooh. operational nuclear power plants, high-level oh, nuclear oh, oh, waste oh. would cost some $44 billion per year for space launch before packaging, transport, and security costs are added. Ah. Okay, let's pretend we don't care. Currently, we couldn't shoot all the nuclear waste into space even if we wanted to. There just aren't enough rockets. Yeah, not enough room. <laughs> In 2021, we saw a record 135 launches into space. If we okay. repurposed each of those rockets and filled them all with nuclear waste, the total amount that could be lifted into a low Earth orbit, which is Still the closest orbit above the atmosphere, is nearly 800 tons. Oh. We'd need at least 14 times more rockets to oh, handle oh, just today's oh. nuclear waste let alone oh, no. get rid of the hundreds of thousands of tons in temporary storage. Oh, we would no. need to create entire new space industries to keep up with the demand for giant, toxic space trash trucks. And <laughs> it gets worse. Problem two, space is hard. 
That's what she we said. We only made the calculation for low Earth orbit, where we send most yeah. of our rockets and satellites. Yeah, that won't be Littering good, right? space around Earth with thousands of casks of spent nuclear fuel would yeah. be a nightmare for space junk management and oh, satellite gosh. collision avoidance. Worse still, at this altitude, there's still a little bit of atmosphere causing a tiny yeah, bit of Yeah, they pull it back in. That's so what I'm saying. have nuclear waste raining down from space. Ah, great. Fallout's real. Experts would call this a huge Godzilla? problem. <laughs> Clearly, we have to launch our waste further. If yep. we wanted to send it to perhaps Mars. the moon, oh, we either yeah, need yeah. way more rockets or we need to build much bigger to moon? ones, making it even more expensive. A Wait, wasn't there a space video where if we nuked the moon, the radiation would stay on the moon? So isn't the moon like one of the worst places to send radiation? Single Saturn V, the rocket used by the Apollo program, huh? which cost around 1.5 billion adjusted for inflation per launch, could get about 43.5 oh, tons from the Earth to the Moon. So we'd need about 260 Saturn V rocket launches every year. And of course, Jesus. using the Moon as target practice for nuclear waste-tipped rockets kind of makes a huge mess. Yeah. So maybe don't aim for anything. Space <laughs> is empty. Do we really need a target? Well, you're Shooting bound to hit something, right? Shooting random direction is, yeah. you guessed it, also a bad idea. Yeah. Orbits are loops, yeah. which means they have a tendency to come back to where they started. <laughs> I knew it come back. In the sky in random directions, and you'll get one back eventually. Wow. So we'd want to Touché. launch our nuclear waste deep into space, which means we need even bigger rockets that would be even more expensive. So, Star Trek. Not that we would be completely safe there. Not until that's done. <laughs> Earth might run into these interplanetary caskets at some time in the far future and experience uh... a pretty meteor shower made from radioactive dust. Okay, how about we shoot it into the sun? Ooh. Ironically, oh, wait, the no. sun is pretty hard to hit. Oh. While the sun has very oh, strong really? gravity... Dude, imagine if we had a, like, a... Uh... No, no, Everything I'm, on I'm Earth done. is moving with respect to the sun including the rockets that we launch, meaning a rocket would have to cancel out all the orbital motion it has around the sun so it can stop orbiting and fall in. Okay. Because of this, it's actually easier to launch a rocket entirely out of the solar system than it is to launch it into the sun. But wow. to do either of these things, we need even bigger rockets, probably the biggest we've ever built. Jesus. Hmm. Nothing works. The thing is, it gets even worse. Oh Problem God! Three, really? Rockets go. Brrr. Yeah. Rocket engineering has taken huge steps since the Apollo era. We've mm -hmm. made them relatively safe. We've mostly replaced the toxic, explosive cancer fuels of the past decades with much saner mixes of liquid oxygen and hydrogen or kerosene. The newest no doubt, no even doubt. land themselves so that they can be reused. Ah, uh, yeah. SpaceX. Yet, out of the 146 launches in 2021, there were 11 failures. Which Jesus. means that a sizable number of our rockets carrying high-level radioactive waste oh, would be exploding yeah, on the dudes. launch pad, or in the worst case, disassemble. Yeah, we wouldn't put them in experimental rockets, though. Come on. <laughs> that, that's just a dumb idea in itself. Altitude, <laughs> or crashing from hypersonic speeds. Yeah. Each failure would be at least equivalent to a mini Chernobyl, but instead yep. of being contained under a slab of concrete, spread throughout the atmosphere. Jesus. Radioactive particles could make their way to faraway places by riding on the winds. Oh, Most hell no, would yep. fall into the ocean, but some would land on the inhabited parts of the world. Great. They could cover Pog. farmlands and get concentrated into our food or enter our water supply. But then we might become mutants. Bad. Imagine regular large-scale nuclear disasters happening. We could make X-Men real. Happy. Conclusion and opinion part. Having superpowers sounds pretty cool. Nuclear waste <laughs> is scary. But the fear of it, and horrible ideas like shooting it into space, reveals how bad we are at understanding risk. You're brushing because under the, the rug, I see. amounts of radioactive elements like uranium and radon are actually released by coal. Burning millions of tons ah. of coal each year leaves ash as a waste product that includes about 36,000 tons of radioactive materials. Jesus. Less radioactive than high-level nuclear waste, but there's also a lot more of it, and ah. it's handled way less carefully. Some of this ash is caught by filters, but most is simply pushed back into leaky mines, shoved into piles exposed to the wind, or poured into ponds that regularly spill into rivers and lakes. Oh, okay. Living Dude, within 1.6 kilometers of an ash pile increases your cancer risk up to 2,000 times oh, over the Oh, this happened to be in City Skyline. The, the game where you make your own city and stuff, where if you have all of your, like, uh, 
I don't want to say tr your rubbish tips or trash tips, whatever you call them. In the area of people that live, they end up getting ill quicker. Acceptable limit. And this is on top of other toxic chemicals like heavy metals, heavy metals and, and of course, their massive CO2 emissions. CO2. And yet, while nuclear energy is flawed and its current form may only be a transitory technology, nuclear power plants are a harder sell than coal. Nuclear waste and the lack of willingness to deal with it are a real issue. It's not Jesus. insurmountable, though. There, there are goes, good methods reference. to handle it, like burying it deep underground or reprocessing some of it into new fuel. Ah, but however we ultimately recycling. deal with this issue, we hope one thing is clear. Shooting nuclear waste into space is one of the worst ideas ever. Understandable. Researching this crazy thing, conducting all of these important... Hey, yo, send it into a black hole, even though we could never do that, but I'm just saying, like, instead of, uh... Because that sucks everything in! But then we don't know if the other end's just a portal. No, that's another... That's the black hole theories where we don't know what, what is the other end of that, but... If it just takes everything in, we just... When we have the technology to fly ships, we just fly into that thing. Poggers. Test, and of course, <laughs> creating this video took us around 2,000 hours, which is insane Jesus for a Christ. video. Jesus Christ! And we couldn't do it without you. Yo. If you like what you just saw, you can continue your science journey with one of our products. They're oh, true pieces of Kurzgesagt you can take home and touch. Hey, and yo, they're that the dog. best way to support this channel. Like our limited edition Human Era Calendar that will bring you a whole year of joy. Oh, Learn God. more about the world with our carefully researched infographic posters, get our habit and gratitude journals to improve your life with science, or update your wardrobe with our new hoodie editions. If your room is in need of a literal oh. glow up, get one oh. of these posters. We've also got notebooks, plushes, mugs, and more. All designed with love. Yeah, that spaceman poster looks good. Us at Kotzkazakhs. And if you sign up to our newsletter, we'll keep you up to date on everything happening in the Kurzgesagt universe. Oh, thank you good. so, so much for your support. No, thank you for the good videos, my dude. Good videos. That's actually really cool. I like that. So, in all, never going to happen. <laughs> We're never sending it into space. But that's, that's, that's what we learned from here. Nuclear waste is bad, and we still don't know how to fix it. Wait, we didn't get a solution. He didn't have a solution. He just told us we screwed. I like it. Okay, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to check out the original in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Comment what you'd like me to react to next. Subscribe if you're new or just haven't yet. I will see you in the next video. Ooh.